Hey, hello, it's John here for another 850 tutorial. Last time we created this sonic bubble and this was sort of the basic one, but it got me thinking, why don't we try and create the lightning bubble? So let's give it a go. I've loaded up After Effects and what I'm gonna do is create a new composition and my composition is gonna be 512 by 512 with 15 FPS. So you can sort of play with this, go a bit further, go a bit less, so sort of up to you. And it doesn't sound like I'm much about the time, I'm just gonna go for two seconds. Inside here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Y and quickly create myself a black. So I've got my background, I don't I suppose don't necessarily need to do that. And control Y and create myself a blue for my lightning. So I'm gonna do this the quick and dirty way by using the presets that were given to me. Uh, let me find vertical lights. There you are. And try vertical lightning now there. And boom! Lightning. Now we we aren't gonna want too much of these because we're gonna turn this into a sprite sheet. It makes a deal sort of amount is jumping around, it should be so sort of fine. Like it's gonna look fine in terms of a loop anyway. But let's do about 10 frames worth. And I might just quickly change, drop my glow radius right down. Bring that glow opacity up. Yeah. I kind of don't want it to fork out too much. So let's just change the point, it goes too far. Does it? Nah, that's fine. Shall we increase the forking, perhaps? Or less, nah, leaves that about how it was. We can increase that, like the turbulence though. And stick that around there. Mm. You know what, that should be fine. I'm going to take this point and set it even higher. Just so that it brings the fucking up to a high point. Cool, let's have a quick look. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe I've got too much forking, perhaps. So let's just go about a bit less, maybe 21. Yeah, should be fine. Cool. Anyway, I'm being probably over pedantic on this. So now I've got this set, I'm going to create a sprite sheet out of this and you could do this by going to your render settings and exporting it out as a PNG sequence but and then you know just using that to create a sprite sheet with an online sprite sheet creator but in terms of saving time I'm just going to create myself a sprite sheet let's open that up and have a look at it cool, should be fine Alright, so let's jump into Unreal and import that. Awesome, should have probably checked the size. It's quite a big texture, but we're fine. That's fine. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to duplicate this material. And I'm going to call it Sonic Light Ending Matte. And hit enter and open that up. So this is what we created last time. If you've not watched that one, feel free to sort of go back and have a look at it. Tweak that so you know you like it, get that set up. I'm not going to be fully remaking that because I don't think I necessarily need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my sprite sheet in. So we've got that ready. Move that over there. 
and I largely feel like we don't need you. We'll keep the panner, so we're going to need the panner. We don't need you anymore, and we don't actually need you or you. Yeah, let, let's still go for it. Okay, we're going to need to turn this into a flipbook. It would help if I probably zoomed in a bit. So, inside the flipbook, we're going to need to get this set up. So, UVs to UVs. And let's start previewing. Probably set it on a cube as well. Alright, so I'm going to hold one and create two of these. I'm going to need to actually have a look at how many rows and columns we've got. So, one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So, columns, we have six. Drag you into columns. And how many rows we got? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and eat the view eight rows and yeah we've got the moment where it glitches out but it's fine it'll, it'll do for now if we want to be more specific we'd have to fix the sprite sheet but let's just continue okay so let's take our panner this is our previously used panner and we're going to put that into UVs and we don't want it to go left and uh, we want it to go left and right. So let's say point five on the X this time. Ooh, you know what? I am tempted to go fix that. No. Focus jump. Focus. So we can stop previewing you now. And we are just going to want to bring these together. And what we're going to do to do so is we're going to get ourselves a multiply. And because this is going to go into our emissive. So let's multiply it by a nice high fat number 12. The number 12. That should do. And instead of using this add, because it's got a black background, we're going to need to screen this. So let's get a blending mode screen and bring you into here and you into there and there we go. Let's give that a sec to sort itself out. Cool, so we've now got our background material, we've got the rotation and what we can do is find our character fellow again open the blueprint because we already set this up last time go to our viewport find the sphere and let's change this to sonic lightning material hit compile save all that jazz and play you know what let's one more quick change while we're here, let's turn off the two sided and let's increase the opacity just a touch too. Might be worth, let's get this looking real good. Give this a second to work yourself out. Find the brightest point. Let's get us another number. Density. Let's try 0 0.2. Too low. Let's try 0 0.4. Okay, let's just sit on 0 0.6 and be happy. Cool. Okay, so that's 
Okay, so 0 0.5. And I'm gonna commit, stop previewing, hit save. Move you over here, press play over here. Cool. I've gone too far, haven't I? It's probably better before. Oh my god, John. But I suppose this is what sort of playing with materials is. It's about just getting all this good. 0 0.7 and bring the opacity up over here to 0 0.6 maybe multiply u as well by 16 bring u up just to try and get that balance right okay this one's the winner this one's the good one yes yes it is Cool, so there we go, we've quickly, loosely created Sonic's sort of lightning orb. Mm, it was better with two sides, wasn't it? It was better two-sided. But, yeah, there you go. We are happy with that. I've just set that back to two-sided. And, as usual, guys, we do appreciate any sort of comments and feedback and all the likes and all that good stuff. Remember, we've got a Patreon, and any support you can throw across to us would be massively appreciated. There you go. Thanks for watching, and hope you found that useful.